Vertebrate and invertebrate animals. No, 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 no! Ah! Ouch! Ooh. Animals are everywhere. Some of them live in the water, others fly, and many others are terrestrial. All of them share two key features. They can move around and eat other living beings. The animal kingdom is the largest and most diverse of living things. It is so diverse that we need to classify animals in groups to be able to study their characteristics. Great English naturalist Charles Darwin knew a lot about studying and classifying animals. Hello everyone! <coughs> the animal kingdom can be classified into two large groups. Vertebrate animals that have a vertebral column or spine and invertebrate animals that do not have it. Vertebrate animals are more developed than invertebrates because their bone and muscle structure allows them to grow more and move around better. Vertebrate animals can be split up into the following groups. Fish, amphibians, reptiles, birds and mammals. Fish live in rivers and seas. Their body is covered by scales. They have fins to swim around and gills that allow them to breathe underwater. Amphibians have four limbs. They are born like fish and develop until they turn into terrestrial vertebrates. <laughs> Amphibians turn into this? No. A crocodile is not an amphibian, but a reptile. Similar to fish, the skin of reptiles is covered by scales and have four limbs to move around, except for snakes that drag themselves along on the ground. Many of them know how to swim. Birds are covered with feathers. They have a beak, two legs and two wings that allow them to fly, though not all of them know how to do it. Birds lay eggs, like most fish, amphibians and reptiles. And finally, we have mammals. The most developed group of vertebrates. And the animal kingdom. Their young develop inside their mother's womb until they are born. Then they are fed with the mother's milk. Some mammals fly. And others live in the water. Though most of them are terrestrial. Got it! All the animals that live around here are vertebrates. But where are the invertebrates? Those animals go more overlooked but they are more numerous than vertebrates. Did you know that of 100 animals that live on Earth, 98 are invertebrates? Invertebrates can also be classified into several groups. Spiders, insects and crabs are arthropods. They have legs to move around on land or sea and some of them also fly. All of them have an external skeleton that protects their body. Mollusks have a soft body. Some of them have a shell and others have long tentacles. There are terrestrial and marine mollusks. Of the invertebrates that only live under the sea, the following stand out. Sponges that have a sac-shaped body and are not mobile. Jellyfish that have tentacles and move around freely. And starfish that drag their odd body along the sea floor. And let's not forget about a group of invertebrates we are all familiar with. Worms. Those terrestrial or aquatic animals with an elongated body and without legs. What? <laughs>